welcome back to the channel it's going to be a reading for the sign of libra from now until end of the month so let's see what's coming up for you guys hope you guys are doing well libra sun moon rising venus and north node please note that this reading is going to be for the next 10 days uh it may or may not resonate with you completely but if it does you can continue based on the energy that you see based on the cards overall i see a positive change coming in your life is about to change in a big way with Knight of Cups, I see you moving in a forward direction. After lots of waiting for someone and holding back majorly, you want to take your chances. You want to move in a forward direction. Many of you guys could also be getting a lot of attention from a particular someone. Okay, definitely there are lots of people behind you. you, you you've been definitely having more than just one option. So, yeah, let's see what else. With Six of Cups, you're definitely asking yourself whether the next person in your life is going to be the soulmate that you will end, finally end up with or have a family with but judgment card you have gone through too many lessons lately in the past 10 months many of you guys could have gone through something very painful and now is the time to use it you know so that you could potentially not repeat the past mistakes if you've been single judgment tells you not to be too hasty in judging potential partners as a libra sometimes you could be too harsh you know uh, judging people too soon Okay, so you got to take it a little slow. Top card we have for you is five of cups in the reverse. You're mainly focused on letting go of the past situation, thoughts, you know, uh, repeating patterns, you know, uh, the way that you used to be an over giver, people pleaser. You want wanting to let that all slide now. Okay, what else do we see coming up for you? Also for Libra, if you guys were holding on to something from the past, then I see you very much moving on. You're in a lot better energy. Okay, you have learned the necessary lesson and don't think that you're majorly holding back because of a particular someone. With the full card, you will take that necessary leap of faith in a forward direction. With two of swords in the reverse, you are no longer wanting to block yourself. You are finally wanting to realize your worth. You are accepting the reality and that's enough for you to keep pushing forward. Okay. With two of cups, many of you guys will have your person very soon. Some of you guys have already met them. Okay, what else do we see coming up for you? With eight of swords, I definitely feel like work-wise things might be a little difficult because you feel stuck and stagnant. Okay, you feel a little pressurized. If you've been letting projects slide lately, now is the time to pick up the slack before you lose an opportunity. Financially speaking, uh, I would definitely say for you to be careful with money, not to make snap judgments. Okay, make sure you have all the information you need before making any investment or before you know making any big purchase. The temperance card, the person on your mind definitely wants to balance this connection with you. Your partner definitely wants a harmonious relationship where you and them are in a perfectly balanced love committed relationship based on respect if you are having troubles or problems in this relationship then they're willing to resolve it or uh, like whatever issues that are holding your relationship back in order to move this connection forward whenever i see the four of wands it is usually an indicator that you and your partner will become closer at this time which is going to bring your relationship to a very stable ground. After lots of time thinking and holding back, I think your person has finally made the decision to surrender to the connection. They definitely want to see to it that they are resolving everything that was getting in the way so this can move forward. For some of you, after a long time waiting, this person will finally approach and um, definitely give in because they see you as their forever person. Libra readings have started to go really good now. <laughs> so yeah, with the Hierophant card, they want a commitment with you. They want a future with you and they will invest likewise. Okay. In terms of how do they view you now? With the Tower card, they have their own fears with you. They know that you are losing patience or you're not going to wait on them or hold on to them for long. They have to decide faster. With King of Wands, they also know your value and worth. They know that if they do not approach you sooner, uh, there will be someone else who is trying to get your attention or trying to manifest you. With King of Swords, they see you as someone who is much more practical now. You are not that sensitive person you used to be. You have definitely changed. 
and you only change when you're going through something painful something uh, big okay in terms of their honest feelings for you what do they feel for you now with the world card they see you as their forever they see you as someone who they need in their life whenever you are around they feel a sense of uh, satisfaction and joy this card can also be a major indicator that your person wants to move this connection to the next level by proposing to you it's like um, they feel a sense of completion and happiness with you and um, they are definitely considering the next step in this relationship you both had to work really hard to get to the stage and now is the time for you to enjoy this relationship together the ten of cups definitely see you as someone who can give them that happiness that fulfillment that emotional uh, joy kids family stability you name it in terms of their intentions towards you now i feel like this person is definitely fascinated by your personality by your appearance and they truly feel like you're some piece of pure magic okay ace of pentacles also represents your person having positive and strong feelings towards you and they have been manifesting this relationship with you for a really long time and now they are finally ready uh, to want a secure relationship with you based on values loyalty and stability and respect of course uh, they feel like you would make an amazing husband or wife when it comes to blockages i would definitely say that some of you guys might be losing hope slowly but surely uh, you guys do fear the past repeating and um, you guys might be definitely controlled by the past events in a way you do not have high hopes when it comes to this person or the situation with ten of pentacles you have low expectations but this person will definitely deliver more than you have ever ever imagined okay so yes in terms of that the near outcome what can we see because of the past events many of you guys might have chosen to emotionally close yourself up because in the past you could have been called clingy or overly sensitive or immature or, or someone who has high expectations and this time you may choose to close off that emotional side for good but this time with ace of cups since you have been behaving cold and detached you are almost irresistible to them okay they just want to have more of you and that is going to be the crazy factor which keeps them uh, chasing behind you to accept them to be with them i think after you've been uh, unapproachable they definitely want to step up their game a bit and i do feel big time this person is coming forward with a big offer something that you cannot refuse or ignore okay something uh, big like they might also want to propose you for marriage the three of wands you can expect something real strong coming up in a span of 3 weeks okay up to 3 weeks you can expect something big okay in terms of the blockages what are what is still getting in the way with the magician card i honestly feel like there is still some communication blockages or confusion um due to the past you may still believe that the person is coming uh, forward with ill intentions you know uh, they are just going to be deceptive and the lack of energy might still bother you okay lack of uh, changes and lack of energy coming from their side okay you definitely are wanting something meaningful and if the person doesn't approach you right you may majorly never trust them again some of you guys might struggle to see success in this relationship with your partner in terms of libras who are dealing with someone brand new how is that going to go sun card I feel like if you guys are dealing with someone brand new, you're definitely gonna like their attention. With three of swords, uh, now that you have gone through everything, painful, good and bad, I mean, I don't think you're going forward with a lot of expectations. With justice card, you just want to see as to what the next person will be like, because you're having a very direct, very practical approach. In terms of what can you expect, however. With the eight of cups, I believe the person you're gonna meet next is someone who has just moved out of a connection or is moving out of a connection. So emotionally, I I still see some stagnancy there. With hermit card, there's a good chance uh, the person could be a Leo or Virgo. I also see a Libra. I also see Gemini for some of you, Pisces as well. The person who you're gonna meet next will take their sweet time. You might meet them at work. mostly in person and work okay so yes in terms of libras who are dealing with 
air sign libra gemini aquarius how is that gonna go you guys are dealing with air sign with strength card this person might be going hot and cold on you sometimes they uh you know are very open and approachable sometimes they are just closed off with queen of wands this person will definitely give in though they will definitely take action they are very sexually obsessed with you but nine of swords in a way they fear losing you so i don't think if you feel like they are getting away or going away you know you should believe that okay you you definitely have this person uh, in your control sometimes they do like to behave hot and cold just to know as to what or how you'll react with eight of pentacles i believe this person will take action Okay, you guys are dealing with water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. With Page of Pentacles, this person might be approaching you or even messaging you. Some of them have started to ping you regularly. With Six of Pentacles, however, it's still out of balance. I still feel like they are supposed to do more. Okay, but they are still not coming forward with lots. In the Ace of Wands, I do feel this has a potential to move forward, but they might use the physical or the sexual approach. Okay, but they do have interest. If you guys are dealing with Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. With Seven of Cups, this person has been overly confused with their life. They do not know what they need. They, they do think a lot about you though. They do even dream about you. With Queen of Pentacles, they do know your worth and value. With Two of Wands, they will give in, but I don't think they will... Uh, Finally, commit to you. They might still take time, okay, more than the other signs. You guys are dealing with Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person seems more in love with you. With Nine of Cups, you are their wish fulfillment. With Six of Swords, if they've been living at a distance, they are willing to travel in order to see you. And with Page of Cups, you can expect a message pretty soon. If they've been already messaging you, then they'll want to step up their game. Okay. In terms of advice, but Devil card, let go of what's blocking you. Be it a third person, be it addiction, be it work situation. With Nine of Pentacles, like, do not panic uh, because of your financial condition. Things will get better. The last nine days of the month are looking very good for you. The mid of April was not that good financially. Okay, but the rest of April will be. With Three of Cups, have fun. Go out with your friends, family. Enjoy your life. You deserve that. Okay, with Nine of Wands, if you guys are wanting to give up on a situation because it's not working, okay, uh, something that was uh, your baby project, do not give up because I say results coming in, okay? With the Lover's card, I definitely feel like the person that you were waiting on or holding on to in the past who had given up on you is definitely wanting to come forward. Okay, with Ten of Swords, this, this is someone who has definitely hurt you big time. With the Moon card, they are willing to speak the truth. And with Page of Cups, they will come in with a strong apology. Okay. Uh, with Chariot card, you, you can expect lots of action this month. Last part of the month, sorry. And with Wheel of Fortune, the cycle is finally changing in your favor. Top card we have is Five of Swords. Do not wait just because you want to see that person suffer or go through karma. That is just wastage of your own time. Okay, let's take love notes. The first card we have is the thought of you with someone else drives me insane. Realizing your love was holding me together. We belong together. True love is hard to find, but I found it with you. Yes, I do want to be with you. Of spirit messages we have the situation will improve it's up to you no need to worry and yes is the answer to your question so yes libras that is all i have for you for this week if it resonated do hit the like button every like counts thank you so much for coming up we also have special discounts this week you could directly head on to etsy right after your book you could directly let me know via whatsapp or email sometimes i might take a couple of days to reply but i always check okay uh, do not have to panic if you feel any uh, you know changes are supposed to be done you could directly email me or whatsapp me okay so that is all i also have a special account on instagram now divine tarot by sai you could follow that for more uh, tarot content also uh, spirit messages and just healing uh, messages so yes, that is all from my side. Thank you so much.